Hello friends, my name is Kev and welcome to CKP Design Solution. In the last tutorial, we had discussed some basics about ANSYS software. We have also discussed difference between simulation and animation. We also went through the reasons that why one should learn ANSYS and finally we have learned that how to download free student version of ANSYS from ANSYS website. So let's discuss the goals of this lecture. Now in this lecture, I will explain you analysis system in ANSYS workbench. Also as I told you, I will explain each and every tab in the static structure. So let's start from the toolbox. Now toolbox is something from which you will get all the necessary tools to perform the analysis. Now it's like whenever you want to perform an analysis, you go to toolbox. Now toolbox contains 5 more tabs, namely analysis system, component system, custom system, design exploration, external connection system. Now in this lecture, I will explain you most of about analysis system and component system because the rest three systems is out of the scope at this stage. So first analysis system. So these are the templates placed in the project schematic either by dragging or by double clicking. Now any template in the analysis system contains all the necessary cells to perform a complete analysis. Example, let's say that you want to apply hydrostatic force to a cube. Then analysis system contains different templates that contains all the tools from making a CAD model to meshing it and then applying boundary conditions and post-processing the results. So this is a static structural template and these rows are called cells. And one by one working with these cells we will perform all the steps that I told you before. Now after explaining analysis system, I will also explain component system later in this lecture but currently let's focus on the analysis system. Now in the analysis system, we will start with static structure. So as the name suggests, any analysis related to static structural problems can be analyzed with this module. The space in which you place this template is called project schematic. So basically what you do is, you take a template from toolbox and place it in the project schematic. Now if you look at the static structural template, there is already a tick mark on the engineering data cell. Also there is a blue question mark on the geometry cell and there are white question marks on the other four cells. So the meaning of these signs will be known by clicking the blue triangle on the bottom right corner. So for engineering data, it says that all the data is up to date and no attention is required. It shows that either no geometry has been specified or the model contains error in the design modeler. Similarly for the white question mark which shows that engineering data or geometric data is unavailable. So let's move on to the first cell which is engineering data. Now engineering data is all about specifying material. Now you have made a CAD model. So we have to assign some material to the CAD model. So ANSYS workbench provides by default structural steel as a material. Although not only you can change the material that is pre-assigned but you can also assign more than one material to different components of the same model. And I will show you how to do this by example in the model cell. Now I will explain in the next lecture in detail that how to add material to library, how to add a new property to the material and how to make a new material itself and assign its property and save it for the future use. But for the scope of this lecture, we will forward to the next cell which is geometry. This cell is related to either creating geometry inside the ANSYS or importing the geometry from outside. Now again as I told you, I will not going to show you how to make a CAD model as I am assuming that you guys already knew it. For those of you who want me to make a separate video on design intent for CAD model and design philosophy, please do comment in the comment section. For this lecture we will import the CAD model that I have already made before. So right click, browse, import and select the beam. I will also attach a link in the description if you want to download the same CAD model and perform the analysis. Now let's move to the next cell which is model. Now basically there are three conditions that needs to be satisfied to get a green tick on model cell. These conditions are coordinate system, connections and meshing. So first of all double click model. So it will open ANSYS mechanical and its graphical user interface looks something like this. Now usually when you import a CAD model coordinate system is automatically imported to ANSYS Mechanical and if not, you can manually create a coordinate system by clicking create coordinate system and then you can select any reference surface and automatically a coordinate system will be created at the center of the reference surface. 
so you can see the x y and z coordinate with respect to the global coordinates but it cannot be changed as we have defined it with respect to the reference surface so it will take it at the center of the reference surface now in ANSYS anything that is written in the gray tab cannot be changed or modified in the ANSYS workbench but you can change it if you define your coordinate system with respect to the global coordinate system now if you can see you can modify the coordinates of reference frame also there is an option of name selection so if you initially select it and click on the arrow nothing will show up so basically name selection is that you define a particular body or surface or edge or vertex by a name and from that point the given name will be assigned to that entity select this surface right click and select name selection now you can either apply name selection to the selected surface or you can apply it to the geometry of similar size type or location we will apply it to the selected geometry only and we will give it name as top surface so now if you select name selection and click the arrow you will find top surface and the coordinate system will take it as reference now i will make this block as fixed support and this as beam instead i could have also made only beam and selected this end as fixed support so practically there is no need of block but if i would have made only beam then ANSYS will not show this connection option as there would be nothing with which beam should make a connection with so connection options will only appear when more than one components appear in the ANSYS and the connection will be automatically determined by the ANSYS software though you can do it manually also but it is not a big problem until and unless there is a special case so most of the time connections will be formed automatically only when you bring your model into ANSYS mechanical so connections will be formed by default and the third thing is mesh so right click on mesh and select generate mesh and ANSYS will create default mesh so once there are tick marks here on these three options means once we satisfied those three conditions there will also be a green tick mark on the model now i will make separate videos on meshing as it is very important part in any analysis and we should not just use default mesh as there is a saying that if you can mesh properly any model half of the analysis is done so it is a critical step and it needs to be explained in a separate video so let's move on for now and for the rest three options that is setup solution and results we will get tick mark at the same time but i will explain what these three are individually so first is setup here you will set up boundary conditions like fixing on a particular end and applying load on the other end all these things comes under setup set so first we will right click on the static structural go to insert and select fix support select the surface and apply similarly select the top surface to the static structural right click insert and select pressure now in this magnitude cell select this row and select tabular currently i am specifically explaining you that how to apply a uniformly varying load in ansys mechanical i will also explain how to apply different types of load later so along with the introductory tutorial to static structural template i am also telling that what i am going to explain later as explaining everything in one video will confuse you and make you feel bored so select this arrow and select tabular now go to last row and select x y or z depends on along which direction you want your load to vary so here we want it to vary along z direction and in the coordinate system we will select coordinate system that i have created before now here in tabular data for z is equal to 0 our pressure is mm, let's say 0 0.4 megapascal and for z is equal to minus 600 pressure is 0 so now we have set up boundary conditions and we will move on to the next two that is solution and results so when you click on solutions you can see some options in the details of solutions and we will change it only in case of certain specific applications because in 90% of the cases we do not change default settings but the more important is results which you will obtain by clicking on solutions so right click and select insert equivalent one minus stress equivalent one minus strain and directional deformation in y direction 
there are other results also which you choose depend upon your application but for this case that's all you need to do so right click on model and choose solve and you will get all the necessary results and depending upon your knowledge of structural mechanics you can say that the results obtained are correct or not you can also practically check it with the equations that you know that the deformation in y direction you get is correct or not so i explain the meaning of this sixth sense there are still certain points which i will explain in detail but according to the goal of this lecture i hope you understand that what are those six cell mean and what are the exact things that you perform with those six cells and in the next lecture i will explain engineering data in detail i hope you enjoy this lecture and if you find it informative please like and share this video with your friends and to get the notification for similar such videos subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you very much have a nice day